everybody, John from DroidDog.com here, and today we're unboxing Sony Ericsson's Xperia Play, also known as the PlayStation phone, and it is the first PlayStation certified device. More are on the horizon from companies uh, not involved with Sony. Just a quick look at the box here. You see the PlayStation certified logo, Verizon's rule of the air, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Now this phone uh, was first released as a, GMS, a GSM device overseas, now it's available on Verizon in the States for $450 outright and $199 on a contract. In the box, let's see, we've got the USB AC adapter, uh, micro USB to standard USB charging and data cable, um, quick start guides, product and safety information, that kind of thing, and here we have looks like it's just a extension cord for the three and a half millimeter audio jack I'll have to look into that to see if it does anything else but that's it that's all that's going on in the box there so we'll set this aside and start this up while we take a look at the phone so this is a four inch 854 by 480 display uh, inside you have a one gigahertz scorpion snack dragon processor with an adreno 205 gpu at the bottom you have hardware buttons back home menu and search uh, you have a VGA front-facing camera there on the front. On the right side, which is the top when you have it open like that, you have your left shoulder button, right shoulder button, and volume rocker in the middle there. On the left side, you just have the 3.5mm audio jack and the uh, micro USB port, I should say audio port. Uh, at the bottom we have a release, it looks like, for the or a fingernail notch there for the battery cover. On the top you have the lock and power button. On the back you have a 5 megapixel uh, primary camera with an LED flash and I'm going to go ahead and peel off this back here. And we have a 1500 milliampere battery. Comes with an 8 gigabyte micro SD card. And that's Android 2.3.2 that you see starting up there. And now when you flip it open, and I'll show you the back of the screen once you flip it open, you just have a couple of tracks here with some uh, tongue and groove mechanism, I guess. Um, this is what uh, everybody's interested in. This is the, uh, the centerpiece of the phone, and that's a PlayStation Portable-esque control surface. So you have your D-pad on the left, standard PlayStation buttons on the right, these two touch-sensitive controls in the middle, uh, menu key, select, and start. Uh, I'll go ahead and do a software update but we'll try to play something while that's going. Now, one thing I want to see here, when you lock the phone, if you open it like this, it goes straight into your games and you can go to existing games that you have on the device and you can, let's see, do I... Okay, there's existing games. And then here's more games that can be purchased for download. I'll jump into there real quick just so you can see the purchase interface. So here's where you purchase the new games that you see on the more games display. Let's try Asphalt 6. So as you can see there's some impressive graphics, of course this is already uh, pre-rendered but they do consider these to be platform quality games. A little bit of a delay after I select something, but that could be the game rather than the phone. And this isn't the you know top spec phone currently available by any means, but it's capable, uh, and it's four hundred and fifty dollars, two hundred on contract. Okay, shoulders are nitrous. Got my right thumb on the gas. I'm not sure which one is brake, and then I'm controlling with the D-pad. And you're probably just going to see some terrible gameplay here. I'm in six out of six places. How did that happen already?
And of course, playing games like this on an all touch screen device, I'm gonna to try to turn down the volume a little bit here. Very terrible gameplay. Of course, playing a game like this uh, on an all touch screen device is difficult. You're obscuring the image and uh, it can be frustrating. And um, this device does have accelerometer control, but personally, my, my taste, oops, I hit a nitro there. Um, I'm not a big fan of accelerometer play. I think it's kind of awkward. I like the old D-pad and buttons. So this is really nice. And I'm not getting in the way of the display at all. As you've probably read elsewhere, it's not the, uh, the brightest screen currently available. But the graphics do look very good and I'm not getting any stutters in the game. Yeah. See if I can get some drift action going here. Controlled drift action. Whoops, I hit the nitrous instead of a brake. So anyway, you get the idea of that. Let's try one more. And there are numerous preloaded games on the device here. You can access them through that um, PlayStation app, or you can just go into your applications drawer in Android. So that looks pretty cool. I think that guy just took a shot. Oh, he's doing like Drunken Monkey, I guess. Okay. Okay, I stuck. Uh, looks like pretty standard fighting controls. Let's see, we have punch, punch, kick. Okay, high kick, low kick, high punch, low punch. And you can move three dimensionally by pressing up and down. More storyline. Constant use of a single attack makes you predict tr predictable. Try to change the pace of your attacks. Okay. So there's a lot going on on the screen here with animals in the background, uh, lighting, shadows. I don't know how to jump. Come on. So there's a good look at some of the gaming. We'll get into more of this later with our full written and video review. Uh, let's just take a look around the interface real quick. See what kind of customization Sony Ericsson has done. So looks like the uh, default Android keyboard. And all of this is just uh, default gingerbread Android now. I think there might be some custom widgets though. I think that's a Sony Ericsson clock. So it's a it's a basic Android experience with uh, what so far seem like excellent hardware controls, and that's the real draw here. Um, nothing else is really groundbreaking uh, in terms of the software, or uh, even the well, I shouldn't say that about the software because you've got the first PlayStation certified device. But in terms of uh, changes to Android, in terms of the specs of the phone, there's not uh, anything brand new going on here. But in terms of the controls. This is uh, this is really fun to play with so far, and I have a feeling I'm going to be hooked on it. I haven't tried these yet, um, but there you go. This is just an unboxing. There's your first look from Droid Dog at the Sony Ericsson Xperia Play. Stay tuned to DroidDog.com for our full review. Go, go.